In this session, we're going to cover how to add a jet siphon to a TFT low-level strainer. The parts kit that you're going to need is an A4467.1. That's what these parts are here. We'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, the tools that are required to do the job is an eighth inch Allen wrench, a snap ring pliers, uh, a seal pick, some grease, uh, silicone grease is preferred, and then red Loctite and blue Loctite. So first up is let's go ahead and get the, uh, the plug that comes standard with the, uh, the little strainer. Let's get that out of there. You'll need the snap ring pliers and just go ahead and grab that snap ring. Once you get the snap ring off, go ahead and push the plug back out through the center of the uh, low level strainer. Let's slide right out the back. Once you have those pieces removed, just go ahead and set those aside. We won't need those anymore. Next, let's go ahead and assemble the, uh, the sub-assembly uh, parts. Uh, they may be partially uh, assembled from TFT, but let me just take you through that process just in case. Uh, first, you'll need a bit of blue Loctite. You'll put a, uh, a ring around the threaded section here. Thread that on. Then you'll take the two O-rings. Slide those down the tube until they fit into the two O-ring grooves that are at the back end of this piece here. Slide that one all the way down. And take the next one. Slide it down. So it snaps into both grooves, so both grooves have the O-rings installed. And then we'll go ahead and take a little bit of grease and rub that on those two O-rings. Okay, now that we've got this greased and this assembled, we can set that off to the side. Now let's take a look at our, uh, our cap here. We want to go ahead and take the, uh, the loop end of the lanyard and slide it around the outside of the cap here. So that's on there. And then you go ahead and take this key ring and slide it around the end metal end. Make sure that's good and secure on there. That's done, set that aside. And let's go ahead and take the coupling and put the hose gasket in the back end of that. And that's as far as we can go with that one. Next step is to go ahead and uh, slide this uh, jet siphon tube down inside this bore. Slide that all the way in. Take the other O-ring, put it into the first groove. You'll see that there's two grooves here. One's a ball groove, the other one is the groove for the O-ring. We'll do the same thing here, just apply a little bit of silicone grease around the uh, outside diameter of that O-ring. Nice and lubricated. Now we'll go ahead and take our coupling Slide that over, and you want to make sure that you don't uh, pinch that O-ring and cut that and cause a leak. You'll feel it snap when it's in place. Once that's on, we'll go ahead and take all of our ball bearings and put them into the hole. You'll need to rotate that back and forth to kind of feed the balls down into that, uh, into that ball race. So we'll do that one by one. Okay, once we have all the balls loaded into the ball groove, into the coupling, we'll go ahead and take this set screw here, our Allen wrench and red Loctite. Apply a little bit of red Loctite to that screw. Thread that in. Until it's about flush, you'll want to go ahead and kind of move it back and forth to make sure that the, it doesn't bind up the coupling or you don't feel the balls jumping into that groove. Set that off to the side. Then we'll go ahead and take our key ring here. Put 
feed it through the hole here. Snap that in place. Screw that in. And we're done.